Today I wanted to do a review on the Eberly Stock Half Track Backpack. This is a backpack that I have kind of been researching for the last couple of weeks and I wanted to really make sure that it met all my criteria. I needed it to be big enough to hold camping gear or camera gear. I needed to have a lot of organization internally and I needed it to be really comfortable because if I'm going to have a pack this size it's pretty easy to load it up with about 100 pounds of gear and after about 10 miles of it you're going to start hurting if it's not a good backpack. So let's go and check out the features. Starting from the harness you got pretty much uh, a standard Everly stock setup. The yoke is adjustable up and down for taller or shorter users. From the factory, it comes in the medium setting, which is what I am, and I'm about 5'7". So it can accommodate taller and shorter people. The waist strap is really nice because it's nice and broad, really wide, and it has a really nice reinforcement material in there, so it's nice and rigid, so it's not gonna sag on you after time. The whole thing is lined with a spacer mesh, which allows for a lot of airflow and also makes it really comfortable. So with this big lumbar pad right here, it's really gonna sit nice and high on your waist and it's not gonna cause any back problems on you. Moving to the front, this is a front-loading compartment backpack. The panel on the front has uh, molly webbing on it and it is five wide and one, two, three, four, five, six tall. This part is also a flap, so if you wanted to put rain gear or ammunition, anything like that, you can put it in there. It has a small place to put your flag or your rank insignia. Let's go ahead and unzip this thing. And it also has it on the inside as well, so internal organization is all covered just by that alone. Inside, it has a bunch of different pouches, so for smaller items, which I have a lot of, you can keep it all separate and you also know where it's going to be. Again, there's more molly material on the inside and it has a divider which is provided by this. And it is engageable or disengageable but you cannot remove it. And that's really nice if you have like a sleeping bag like I carry up here. On the top, you got even more pouches of course, but you also have this rack system. And what this is meant for was communications gear. So if you have a radio, you go ahead and uh, strap this in with these straps and it's held by this mesh and it has two antenna ports so you can route your antenna through the top. So <clears throat> all this is really cool and I have a video that I already made or I'm going to make that has pretty much all the gear that I've put in here. So you can kind of get an idea of how big and how much gear you can actually put into this bag. Let's go ahead and zipper it up. Go to the sides. Each side is symmetrical so I'm just going to show you one side. The main compartment is a huge hydration sleeve so these can accommodate three liter reservoirs so times that by two you can carry up to six liters. Um, but if you don't want to use the reservoir in this main sleeve you can go ahead and put it into the tunnel which is provided right behind it. Both of them have a clip on it so that you can clip to the top of the reservoir. That way it doesn't scrunch down. Or if you're using it for the tunnel, that way it doesn't fall all the way to the bottom and then fall into the ground because it is an open bottom. The tunnel is meant for ski poles, that sort of thing. I use it for trekking poles or smaller tripods. That's a really unique feature that kind of brought me to this backpack was the fact that I can carry a lot of longer items and uh, I'm not gonna have feet or anything like that, um, like spikes on the bottom of a tripod that are gonna poke a hole through. So it's gonna stick right out the bottom and be uh, nice and out of the way. And if you're like me and prefer Nalgene bottles, um, this pouch is a perfect size for it. Moving to the brain. The brain of the pack is pretty standard. There's not too much special about it. The cool thing about this is that it goes right into the, uh, the routing system for the antenna. So you can also use it for an iPod and then route headphones through it and then listen to your tunes that way. On the bottom, last but not least, oh, you got some more molly on the bottom. And the last but not least, you have a rain fly. This rain fly fits the backpack perfectly and is kind of shaped to it. And the cool thing about this is that it is removable. So if you damage it, if you get it burnt or anything like that, if you get a hole cut in it, um, you can go ahead and replace it easy. And this is really cool because I have a backpack that has it sewn in 
and I burnt a big hole through it and kind of out of luck, you gotta sew it in, kind of a pain. But this, it's clipped in there so it's attached, it's not gonna get lost, but you can remove it anytime you want to. So that's the Everly Stock Backpack. Uh, feel free to look at my other video where I show you all the gear that I have in here on a day-to-day -day basis. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. Share if you'd like, but uh, thank you for watching.